guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. Recently, we showed you a tour of Manila 2.6, also known as TouchFlow 3D 2.6. This is HTC's interface replacement for Windows Mobile that has really become pretty prevalent on most of their devices. Um, version 2.6 brings a lot of changes to make it better for finger-friendly navigation. If you didn't see that video, we'll put a link up at the end of this video so you can check that out. We found some new features of Manila 2.6 that we didn't show on the last video that have to do with multimedia. So we can slide over to the right and go to the Photos and Videos tab. Okay, so here we are, and just like previous versions of TouchFlow 3D, we can kind of flick through our pictures and have them float in space here, and we can uh, stop on the picture that we want, tap on it, and bring it up full screen. Now what's different is what happens when you turn your device over into landscape. So watch this. So here we are in photos and video. Go into landscape. Wow. We get this awesome animation and now we get kind of the photo chooser in a uh, in a landscape view, which is really nice. It's a little bit choppy right now, but it's a great way to kind of get a full screen view of all the photos you have on your device if you're showing somebody a slideshow or something interesting um, on your phone. Now we can tap the play button to do a slideshow of the pictures, just like you could do on any other version of TouchFlow 3D, but now it's really easily, easily accessible through this screen. We can go back into portrait and we get that animation. The next thing that is different in this version of TouchFlow 3D is the music and video tabs. So we can go over to the right here. And of course, we can play songs right from our home screen. But if we flip into landscape, we get a really cool animation and beautiful cover flow that allows us to flick through our music. And we can tap on one of them if we like it. And we get a sidebar come over here. And we can play the music right from um, this screen. And you can hide that or bring it back out, press pause, bring it back, flip through it again, or you can just turn over into portrait again and get the, the long view display. And from here you can flick through your cover flow too. So as we continue to see future versions of TouchFlow 3D, it's apparent that HTC really wants to keep us in the TouchFlow 3D interface, not have us drill into the standard Windows Mobile interface too much which is a little bit ugly and not as nice as TouchFlow 3D. And they've done a good job at skinning the photos and video tab and also the music tab to really take advantage of um, more screen space. So that's it for now.